Well, to guys, today's video is going to be on my Galaxy Nexus. Um, this process that I'm going to do also works on the Nexus 7. This bad boy right here. Sorry, it's upside down, it hasn't rotated. There we go. So, process should work both the same on both devices uh, very, very well. And what it is, it's going to be an install video, and we're going to be installing Elemental. X. Now, this is a brand new ROM, um, and it is actually put out by Nitroglycerin33, who is an awesome developer, and actually is um, now ending his Eclipse ROM line, and he's starting this new line of ROMs called Elemental X. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys some of the features on this uh, ROM which are really really cool so let's go ahead and get into a little bit of a review and I'll show you how to install it um, so let's check out our pull downs this is uh, some of your quick toggles that you can get into which are very cool like NFC on off your torch for your light on your LED of your camera and all those good settings now if you see anything that looks funny like it's not you don't have cell signal like this service it's just because I don't have a SIM in this phone right now. So let's go ahead and check this out here. We have your About Elemental X. Again, like I said, this is by Nitroglycerin33, an excellent developer. Please, if you guys feel like it, I mean, go ahead and give this guy a little donation for this ROM. He does excellent and very hard work on keeping these devices running really cool and lots of uh, updates on these ROMs. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it. Those are all your normal uh, settings basically in there. Let's check out what launcher he's got on here. This is Trebuchet Launcher, um, which is by SciGen Mod. A trebuchet Launcher 1.0 in here, and it's general settings, and you can get into that stuff, which is pretty standard for uh, the launcher. There's nothing too exciting in there. And then you can get into stuff like this. This is where our these kind of ROMs are awesome, is customization. The customization of these ROMs is really fun. So let me just kind of show you some stuff. We can go ahead and change all these toggles on the front page. So for example, like your NFC toggle or whatever, the light torch toggle that I showed you. The torch toggle that I showed you right here, torch toggle, you can actually go in here and change its order by just holding it down and dragging it up let's say we want it there instead and now if we do the pull down arch torch toggles up there so it's just customization on here um, with that kind of stuff you can pick different toggles how many per row three is what I got now you can do more than that um, enable the toggles choose order you can uh, do some bunch of good stuff in there let's see what else we have in here for settings um, Here's your. Here's some other toggles. These are toggles up on top, which you'd pull down, which are not enabled right now. But I'll just enable them so you guys can see. Now you have quick toggles up there if you want those, or you can get rid of them and they're gone now. So you have all that customization. You have your power menu, which is when you hold down your power button, what's going to pop up, and you can customize that. Um, your nav buttons. So right now I have blue nav buttons. You can change the color right there. There's a blue. Um, you can change the glow effect, you can change the long press, uh, the actions of what they do. Uh, just a little bit of everything here which is just really really neat uh, for your nav buttons. Uh, let's see we got lock screen and you can do your backgrounds, battery statuses, um, slide targets. So we can come up here and we want to make that something. We can click on it and let's do an application. Let's just do, just to make it easy, oh there we go, elemental wallpapers, and hit, hit it, there we go, so now when you open it up you can go right to the wallpapers, kind of a goofy thing to put there, but still pretty cool, so we're going to go ahead and back out of that, um, let's see what else we got in the settings here. So you saw that lock screens, notification LEDs, what your LED looks like for different notifications. You do have theme chooser built into this, which is very awesome, pretty standard. Um, status bar, so you can change where your clock is at, your icons, your battery, um, right here, I battery style. So right here, I've got the circle, you can go to the bar with the battery or whatever, change colors, all that good stuff. 
a um, ton of good settings in there. Let's see what other settings we have here. Um, general IU settings, transparent car carrier la labels, uh, UI mode. So we can actually go phone mode, we can go tablet looking mode, or phablet is I think what they call that looking mode. And you can change those UI modes and it changes the look of the phone itself. Um, you can do your LC LCD density, dual panel mode. So in settings you're going to have two panels. One on this side is your main list and then settings over here. Um, that requires a reboot. And then you have this right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this from the camera, but this is eclipse mode. And e what it does is it basically just looks to, makes the phone look really black and white. Very much black and white. Versus this which is a little more of a, a gray a gray looking uh, mode like that. So anyway, um, pretty cool. I like it under an Eclipse mode. I'm going to leave it like that. So there's some really good settings in there. Uh, let's see what this thing comes with for applications. Um, comes with all of this except drive and elemental uh, wallpapers. So and Goo Manager obviously wasn't in there either. So the rest of this stuff all comes on it when you flash it with the Google applications. So you do have your super user, you know, your basic stuff. Torch, obviously. Your camera, everything like that. Everything does work. You do have your widgets up here. So I actually like this digital clock myself personally, so I'm going to put that up there. So you have all those goodies. Um, wallpapers, I'm going to give you guys links to everything you're going to need for this. For the Galaxy Nexus or for the Nexus 7, I'm going to put links to both of those. Uh, ROM forums down in my video description below along with the link to getting these Elemental X wallpapers So let's actually go and check those out really quick. There's some pretty cool stuff in here So you can see some of these things in here as we go through And check them out so that's I think the one I've got in there right now But there's a bunch of good ones in here and uh, pretty cool. That's pretty sweet little uh, Set that one right there so we'll do that and back out. So there you go guys, that is the uh, basic ROM overview of this device. Um, so let's go ahead and get into really quick the requirements to install this. This is obviously going to require an unlocked bootloader uh, along with root access and um, I would go ahead and use Goo Manager, this application right here, and go in here and make sure you have the latest Torp recovery installed. And all you got to do if you have root access and an unlocked bootloader is hit this right here. Install Open Recovery Script. And it's going to go on and download it. And this just makes sure that it downloads the right thing, which this is going to be for the Toro. And then you just hit Yes. And it will install the newest recovery. So it's going to go ahead and download it and install it. Um, once this is done, installing. Uh, you can actually use Goo Manager to reboot your phone into recovery or go into it from uh, bootloader mode. Either way, it really doesn't matter. Or some ROMs will have a reboot to recovery option built into it. So right here you can see it is downloading. And it's going to go ahead and install right here. Alright, there you go. Recovery is installed and we are good to go. So I'm going to see if this ROM actually has a uh, reboot. Should Yes, it does. So we're going to do reboot. And we're going to reboot to recovery. And go ahead and show you guys how to install this using Twerp Recovery. So let's let this boot up. Alright, so Twerp Recovery is uh, booting up here. And uh, you can make sure you're on the newest Twerp Recovery, obviously, or Team Win Recovery Project. So let's let this thing load. And there we go. And I think this is the newest version. That's what I just downloaded and installed right here. It's version 2.4.4.0. Uh, you're going to obviously want to make sure you have good battery life before you start this process. Uh, first thing I would do, whatever ROM you're on, is I would go ahead and do a backup. I would set the nickname, type in whatever you want to type in there, and slide across and do an Android backup. Uh, it's probably going to take you about 5-10 minutes to do that. Once that is done, you're going to want to go in here to wipes, and you're going to wipe cache. Swipe across to wipe it, wipe Delvic, swipe across to wipe it, factory reset, swipe across to wipe it, last uh, system, swipe across to wipe that, and go back. Now that you have a clean slate, we'll go back again, 
and we're going to go to installs, find where you've downloaded Elemental X, which is this right here around for Toro, or if you're on the Nexus 7, obviously for a grouper or I can't even think of the other way they say, call the grouper uh, the Nexus 7 device. But uh, go ahead and make sure it's listed up on top and then flash it. Uh, this process right here paid take about two minutes to flash and then we're going to flash the Google applications. So let me uh, just pause here and we'll come back to it. Alright, so the ROM has now flashed. So we're going to go back with that button right here on the bottom. And then we're going to click the GGAPs, which you can also download from the links in the video description. You'll see those. Uh, so GGAPs right here, and make sure they're listed, which they are, and swipe across to flash those. Uh, these files is only going to take a, about a minute to flash. should be pretty simple. When they're, when they're done, we're just going to hit the reboot button on the bottom and boot up and see our boot animation. So that is pretty much the install on this. It is very, very simple. Uh, if you are coming from uh, this ROM already and you're just updating, all you got to do is go in and flash the ROM and the GGAPs and then wipe cache and Delvic and then reboot. You don't have to wipe data or system and you should be good to go. So we're going to reboot and there you go. There you go guys. This is going to boot up. We're going to see our boot animation here which is going to be the stock Nexus boot animation and let this thing boot up and go through the uh, setup process. But that is it. Um, the ex process for installing like I said in the Nexus 7 is exactly the same. Uh, there is absolutely uh, no difference on it. You do use Goo Manager and all those uh, same features. Just get the uh, right ROM and for the device. GGAPs are the same, but right ROM for the device and you should be good to go. So hope you guys like this little install video. Um, also give this thing about uh, five to ten minutes to boot first time. It didn't take that long, it was only two minutes, but just in case, give it plenty of time to boot up before you guys try to wipe it and restore your Android if something failed or didn't work right. Um, there you go, that's it. I uh, hope you guys like this little uh, tutorial walkthrough how to install and review. Please uh, give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, check out my rootjunkie.com. A lot of great information on there, updating daily. Please follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.